Okay, so now we will go to the continuation of getting the um, variance and the standard deviation of group data. So in the last part of the video, we managed to get the frequency times the midpoint. It on, uh, we are on our way on getting the mean of the group data because it will be needed in getting the uh, the the variance and the standard deviation for group data. Okay, so now we will get the sum, the summation of the frequency times the midpoint. Okay, so we just calculate that one off screen. So we have 158 plus 0 plus 272 plus 625 plus 456 plus 412 plus 552 plus 324 plus 350 plus 59 plus 96 plus 74 plus 208 and plus 45 so that will be 3631 okay so our sum is 3631 so our summation for our frequency here is equal to 40 so this week this will be also our n okay so now we will get our midpoint so we'll just do our midpoint on the uh, no they mean on the next page okay okay so next page so just add some page here okay so our x bar is equal to the summation of the frequency times the midpoint over our summation of frequency or just have the word n so our mean it, our summation of frequency times the midpoint is equals to 3631 then our n is 45 okay so we'll divide that one to 45 so our mean is 80.69 okay so this will be 80.69 okay so let's just copy the data that we have on our previous page Okay, so I believe we just copy everything. So we have the we we'll transfer all of this to the next page so that we could utilize this data. Okay. So let's go to the next page. just wait for the uh, data to be copied okay okay now let's um, complete our table so here we will write our x bar so which is equal to x bar is equal to equal to 86.69 okay this is 80 oh no 80.69 so for that so we just have to review this one our previous page okay so 80.69 so we just copy this one Then now you will have your midpoint minus the mean. So we will have 80.69 minus 158. So we we'll just do that off screen. We could also go that farther. We we'll just have that one as squared. Okay. So what you will do here is that your midpoint. So let's just go to another page. So your midpoint 
minus your x bar. So the first one for the best bar that will be 158 minus 80.69. So if that is squared, you also square the answer. So this is for the first interval. Okay, so you have 158 minus 80.69. 80 that one squared. So that will be 5976.84. This is 5976.84. Okay, so you just um, copy this one here. So we have 5976.84. Then you do that one. Uh, you do everything for the next intervals okay then you then you will have everything on this part okay so there is also a shortcut for this one because we only need the f times m x bar squared so that is we need the summation of that one so we could go directly our this part of the of the column or this part of the table we'll go directly multiply that one with the frequency so for this one the frequency is one so if we go to this page so if you have this one as f m minus x bar squared so this one our f for this one is one so we'll be also multiply this one by one so times one and this will be equal the same so 500 5,976.84 Okay, so let's just go back to that page Okay, so we have answer here Then we will do everything until we will get to the summation of F M X bar squared Okay Then we will get to the summation of that one So I will do that one off screen or maybe I will just do first the second uh, second interval. So that will be zero. The midpoint of this one is four, uh, 147. So 147. So let's just go to the next page. This is for interval number two. So our frequency for that one is zero. Okay. So we have zero times the midpoint is. 147 147 minus 80.69 squared this is the mean so this is 0 so any number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 so this is for the second interval so right here 0 okay. zero. so first we'll just erase this one okay so I will do the rest of screen so but you know now the process so that we will not consume so much time on this um, video okay so we we'll just do this one off screen okay so now we are done getting the uh, F the frequency times the midpoint minus the mean squared so we have already tallied everything so like i said in doing this one so you just have 58 uh, minus the mean so 8.69 squared then times one so everything that is done per interval so per class interval okay so that is how it's done now we will get the summation okay the summation the summation of our frequency times quantity midpoint minus mean squared okay so we will just write this uh the as the summation of this one on the next page so we just get the total here so we just get the of the total by our calculator so 5976.84 so we'll just have that the total offline but you can try this one by yourself also 0.13 400 4438.22 plus 1990 1990.94 1990 
plus 767.90 ano 49 sorry 49 plus 1.90 plus 571.38 okay we have plus 470.46 plus 2137.27 plus 3817.63 plus 23927.97 plus 12945.53 and we have so, 69,054.16. Okay, we'll go to the next page. So, our summation of frequency quantity midpoint minus the mean squared is equal to 69,054.16. So, it is uh, it is advisable for us to get at least uh, two, digit num uh, two decimal places. Okay, so we will now get the variance. So, the variance is equal to the summation of F uh, M minus X bar. Let's just write this one clearly first. Okay. So, M minus X bar squared over N minus 1. So, this will be 69,054.16. Point sixteen, so that is our summation of f um, quantity m minus x bar squared over our n is forty five minus one, so we will have sixty nine thousand um, fifty four point sixteen over forty four. Okay, so just. Calculate that one using our calculator, and that will be uh, one thousand five hundred sixty nine point forty two. One thousand five hundred sixty nine point forty two. So that will be our variance. Our mid, our standard deviation is our the square root of our variance. So that would be square root of one thousand five hundred sixty nine point forty two, and this will be equal to. 39.61 this will be our standard uh, 62 39.62 and this will be our standard division and this will be our variance so it is a much longer process so uh, but that is how it's done because the group data is we uh, we need to group our data first then we need to fill in the table here this table so first we need to have the class intervals the tally the frequency the midpoint then the frequency times the midpoint in order for us to get the mean here and we will get the frequency times the midpoint minus the mean squared quantity squared and we will get the sum then we will have the n minus one so our n minus one is 44 so we will divide our uh, summation of frequency m minus uh, x bar squared to the uh, 44 and we will get our variance then we just get the square root of that and we will get our standard division okay so that will be all for this video i hope you learned something from this video so uh, if you have any question you could just um, uh, comment on the video below or on our group chat okay so if there's no question and thank you for watching video and i hope you understand something and as always keep on studying